But the biggest thing that has happened for me in my life is my mom. My mom is 87. And um, from the day after I got married for 35 years, I have called my mama every single day. My parents, my dad passed away, but I always wanted my parents to know how much I love them. And when you talk to somebody on the phone every single day, you notice changes. Mm -hmm. You notice them when you're in person, even more so when you don't get to see them all the time. But the conversations with my mom became uh, in the last three or three or four years, um, very difficult. She couldn't articulate herself. Most of the time she didn't know I was her daughter talking to her. She couldn't remember my name. And when I would go to visit, it was, I could point to my wedding picture that had been sitting up on her, you know, her wall for 30 years and she wouldn't know it was, I was her daughter. And it was heartbreaking. And so in September I went home and I started patching my mom. The first thing I noticed was her energy was incredible. Um, for 87 years old, that lady can walk, walk miles around me. Like she's physically really strong. She wasn't sleeping during the day. She could handle the chaos of a large Italian family with all the grandkids and everybody coming into town. And she kept cool. And as soon as I got back from California, my mom called me on the phone, which I know that sounds kind of silly, but my mom hadn't called me for a long time on her own accord. And so for her to call me back on her own was like a huge thing. And so I left, uh, my, I was coordinating with my siblings in town to patch her, but they didn't actually start patching her until sometime in the first or second week of January. And since then, my mom has called me three times. She knows exactly who I am. I don't often give her a chance to call me because like I said, I'm the one calling her. It's something I've always done. And the other night, my husband and I had a 54 minute conversation with my mom. Wow. It was coherent. It was wow. logical. She did repeat. And I don't have any like clinical studies on her. I, she's not seen the doctor. I can just tell you my personal experiences. She remembers my name. My son was traveling down to see her and spend the night with her. She ha he had she had talked to him earlier. She had told me that he was coming. She remembered his name. And most of the time she keeps asking you know, before this, she was asking me if I was married or she was confusing me with her long life childhood friend who lived in Santa Barbara. So like all these little things are showing me that my mom is improving and I can hear in her voice, she's not as, as afraid or paranoid or worried that somebody's mad at her, all the things that happen to people who start to lose their memory.